I would like to show you how I plant my elephant ears. How do I start growing them? So, so, so. We have some elephant ears here that are already matured and we transferred them already in a bigger pot. What we're going to do is I'm going to show you how I start my elephant ears from elephant ear bulb. Planting elephant ears from bulbs are really very easy. These elephant ear bulbs is from Compare Store. These are very cheap. This is like $2.99 a pound. When your goal is to plant or grow elephant ears, you need to make sure to get the bulbs that already have growth started. It will easily grow leaves. Those that has these pink colors already, if you see green, then it's better. I normally start my elephant ear bulbs on this size of pot when they started growing roots or extending roots from the bottom that's when i transplant or replant them in a bigger pot if you put one hole of this elephant ear bulb here there's not much soil you can put inside so what i do i normally cut my elephant ear bulbs i cut them half and throw away this half part and only plant this area here we don't really need this area of the elephant ear bulb because the roots is gonna come out from the neck area right here and then it will start spreading like that and don't worry about the cut portion the exposed part of this fruit it's okay it, it won't rot or anything like that we'll just cut this portion that has no nodes at all so the pot will not be occupied by the whole bulb so you will put soil about this high and just put this one here cover it with soil and wait for them to grow roots you can actually cook this one if you wanted to we're only getting the one that we want those that have a lot of uh, nodes already sometimes i would like to save them so what we can do is cut them this way, halfway here. So you're gonna have two stems of elephant ears. Why is it so hard? I can plant all of it because it's not too big. I try to expose this area to the air, dry it a little bit. Some growers, they, they put cinnamon powder to avoid fungus. I don't need that. It will grow anyway. So if you see a bulb like this, the roots are already growing, so this is gonna have a higher chance of growing. Because <laughs> the roots are already outside. So the roots actually grow from the neck area of where the shoot is coming out. So the rest of the plant or the bulb, you don't really need it. So even if you cut it, it's okay. They will still grow. It's best to cut it so you know that you, you would know if uh, the bulb is good or not because sometimes underneath it's already rotten this we're gonna plant I have a lot here that it's very old and some are rotted but here these are good quality the meat is still good so what I'm gonna do is peel it off boil it and then eat it just like what the, po uh, the plant is supposed to be buy it from the grocery and then eat it that's why they're selling it but because me i'm kind of smarter i went ahead and plant them we normally cook it with uh, coconut milk and some fruits and it's really good it's called ginataan coconut milk because i don't want to throw it it's still good quality look at that it's like low calorie and uh yeah, I'm gonna eat it. You have a plant and you have a meal. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting hungry, Terry. I only ate one piece of egg and corn since morning. Mm -hmm. Let me first finish what I'm doing. I got a lot of things to do. 
still have to do the lemongrass. We'll go inside the house, wash this, put them in a pot, and boil them. So we have some snack later. So let's just wash them. After we wash them, we put a little bit of water and boil them. Let us continue planting our elephant ear bulb. We just want to make sure that the, the pink area is a little bit showing. It gives you heads up. The plants is gonna grow faster because it's already in the air. Yeah. Let's just water them. Two or three weeks the elephant ears that we just planted today is gonna be this long and some are gonna have leaves also but I have a problem with my bitter melon because I tried to grow bitter melon from seeds and I am guessing I over water them so this one is useless it's all dead and check out my lemongrass that I am trying to grow one stalk each pot really nice let us go inside the house and prepare our dinner This is our pool. I still cannot swim. Although we have a heater on, I still don't want to swim because the temperature is, is still cold. Here's the amaryllis Imelda gave me. So pretty. But it has to have something to lean on because it's so heavy on the top I might need to replant this one tomorrow not tonight because I'm really tired right now the others are here but they're not flowering yet I see some bulbs right here that's gonna flower soon they're so pretty like that it's really a very nice flower So this is cooked, we'll just remove the water. You know it's cooked because it's gonna be soft like uh, when you boil a sweet potato. That's how soft it's gonna be. Nobody else will eat, so I will eat as much as I can. I think I overcook it, it's very, very soft. You just uh, sprinkle it with uh, sugar. That's how we eat it in the Philippines. So here's our sugar. I am so tired working in the air today. So let's taste it. Mm. Tastes like Philippines. We will go ahead and take out the chicken now because it's cooked. But we will cook the onion a little bit harder. The onion in a bell pepper. Because uh, Terry don't like to eat raw bell pepper. Yeah! 
Subscribe. Click the bell, please.